Hello friends, today we're gonna to talk about the Lakota winter counts. Just like you and I talk today, whether it's through face-to-face, -face, on the cell phone, or using the internet, we have that way of communicating. A long time ago, the Lakota would use the fleshy side of a buffalo hide and paint pictures to tell their stories that were of important events for a year. The first was recorded a long time ago, and it'd be from the first snowfall to the following year for the next snowfall. Winter count was done from the center of the hide in a circle, and it would be read from left to right, just like you would be reading a book. Each year, a male would draw the most important event with one symbol on an animal hide. Symbols had significant meaning for each band of Lakota. The divisions were Lakota for Western South Dakota, Nakota for the Northern border and Dakota for the eastern part of South Dakota. They were similar in language and culture. The Journey Museum and Learning Center has a wonderful example of the Missouri winter count on display in their Sioux Indian Museum.